Reality Check viewers, get another alumni of one of my favorite TV shows, probably my favorite TV show of all time, actually, the original Star Trek, and uh, also st uh, star of many films, and uh, you were on Gunsmoke, I understand, as well. Used to watch Gunsmoke when I was a wee lad. I'm giving away my true age here. So, uh, introduce yourself. Your name is Bobby Clark. Indeed. I'm I'm Bobby Clark, yes, sir. And how did you get the part of the Gorn, which is one of the iconic characters, uh, evil characters on Star Trek? How did that come to you? I did a lot of work for a director named Joe Pevany. Ah. And Joe Pevany was the director who called me in to do this first Star Trek episode I did called The Arena. I did The Arena, and then he did three other episodes. One was called Return of the Archons, Mirror Mirror, and The Apple. And, all great episodes. You know. And yes, and he, he directed all all of these episodes, and have worked for him for a lot of years. He called me to do little parts and little stunt work in each movie. Now I imagine putting on this uh, this Gorn costume that, after a, a, a little while. That's got to be hot in there. It was relatively warm. The base pattern of it was a diver's wetsuit, and then you had all this rubber put on top of the on top of the wetsuit, and therefore. You had a Gorn with muscles all over. It's a pretty cool looking costume. I mean, how long were we able to uh, to shoot in it? Probably not very long. Well, it, it, it was shooting several days, but uh, it's not a matter of staying in it too long because you get a pause between each between each take. So when they're setting up the camera for the next take, you naturally you take the hood off take the vest off, open it up, and you can cool out that way. It looked like a kind of a fun character to play. Did you have a good time with that? I enjoyed everything I've ever done. I've been 50 years in the business, so I've done everything from cowboys to horrors to motorcycles to fantasy. So it's. Uh... So what are some of your other favorite things? Obviously, uh, Gunsmoke must have been fun for you. I'm, I'm a cowboy. I worked on Rawhide, Gunsmoke, Have Gun, Big Valley, yeah, name the westerns other than Bonanza. I never worked on Dale and Bonanza. I remember this one. This is one of those kind of, you know, uh, I don't know what they they call them, like uh, grindhouse type films. You know, yeah. B, B, B movies, yes, movies, movies. yes, yes. yes. Oh, and that, yeah. Satan's Sadist. It yeah. sounds like a, sound, yeah. I, I remember. It and produced by Al Adamson, who is uh -huh. he's no longer with us. Right. Uh, Roger Corman was the king of those kinds of things. Roger movies. Corman. I worked for Roger Corman and his wife on a couple other pictures. Uh, what were those pictures? Hell's Angels on Wheels. Oh, uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's a good one. Angels Die Hard. That What's was the Werewolf of Woodstock. <laughs> Werewolf of Woodstock. I love it. So what was your very first job? Revenge of the Body Snatchers, the... Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The original one? The original one in wow. the 50s. Wow. Yeah, that's a great movie, the original Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yes, that, that was one of my first there. There was another one called The Fever and the Blood. I also worked in a movie called Black Sunday. Oh, right, yeah, I remember Black Sunday. The Losers, another feature that most people would know was, was The Ten Commandments. You were in The Ten Commandments! Cool! In that. Yes. Uh, a lot of famous people who had their starts in those types of films, like Ten Commandments, such a big... Big bombastic production. With Being the Gorn, I mean, you must get a lot of reaction just from that from fans. Fifty years in the business, and a lizard is my <laughs> fame to claim. You can't, you can't hear me speak. You can't see my face. But yet you were able to emote. You know, I mean, you obviously had. No, there was no. not my voice, but I've acquired it for when I do stage things. Yeah, could you see through the eyes? So you actually could see through that, huh? Yeah, sequence. Oh, yeah. It looks really, you know, I mean, I guess it made out of foam rubber or whatever, but it looks kind of big and uncomfortable. It was all it was all uh, heavy rubber. The base of it, like I said, was a diver's wetsuit. And then they, and then they applied all this other rubber on it. Uh, and that, that became the costume. Thanks again for spending time with us. We appreciate it.